What are you doing there? Cocaine cat. <gasps> He's not cocaine cat. <laughs> Stop looking like you're on cocaine. Hi there. So we watched Cocaine Bear, which I ended up buying uh, through Amazon video. And then like a week later, it came out streaming on Hulu, which whatever, I stand by my purchase because we had a really good time watching it. And there's also a documentary on Hulu about the true story behind the movie. I love that this actually is based on true events I because just, like... It's just, I cannot believe that this actually happened. Yeah. What? It was the 80s. <laughs> Everybody was in the cocaine. Yeah. Apparently bears, too. You know, Wall Street, <laughs> forests, why not? All right, so let's talk about Cocaine Bear. The movie starts out with uh, one of the guys that's traveling with a large amount of cocaine that something happens to his plane, and he just starts yeeting duffel bags full of cocaine out of the plane, jumps. Uh, his parachute does not <laughs> fully function. They find him later. Which apparently is the plan, if anything goes wrong, is to fly the plane over this park and start chucking duffel bags full of cocaine out, because... What's going to happen if you throw a bunch of cocaine into a park? Bears. What's the worst that could happen? Bears. Apparently, bears. cocaine Beats. bears. Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Could you imagine, like, you're camping with your family, just, like, making schmores, and you just get nailed in the face with a bag of cocaine? Making making what? Schmores. Did you say schmores? Schmores. It's s'mores. It's schmores. Okay. Who's with me? How can I have s'more <laughs> of something I don't already have? You can have schmore of something. So, anyways, <laughs> um, unfortunately, this bear does find the cocaine and really, really likes it because this bear can get so many things done so fast and eat people. Yeah. Um, we meet an unfortunate pair of hikers that have, like, the most comical death ever. Well, one of them. The other one's just freaking out. Like, I feel bad for him. Uh, we learn that... Uh, these two children really like cutting school and going to the forest to sketch the waterfall. Well, one really does. I think the other one just wants to hang out mm -hmm. and eat chips. Um, <laughs> and they encounter the cocaine bear, and that just leads us on this whole journey involving... Um, the park ranger. The park ranger, the guys involved in the drug deal, uh, the kingpin himself. The little, the little gang of... The boys who do the freaking like, oh my God. petty what crime. What were they called? I can't remember. Oh, I it was ridiculous. The bull, bullberry boys or something, no. something like that. Some, something like that. But yeah, and, there's uh, a lot of... A little fluffy white dog. Yes. Uh, the, there's po the police officer. Yeah, the police. The, it's just like there's so many different subplots going on during this. Like the, the kids, one of the kids' moms, she's I assume a single mom who just like takes the park ranger and the conservatory guy I, mm -hmm. who he, like into the forest to try to find the kids and while that's going on the the drug guys are going in trying to find the rest of the cocaine to bring it back to the mm -hmm. the drug lord who is one of the guy's dads um there's just so much going on in this um yeah. I don't know that there's really, like, a lot to spoil because it's just, like, them versus the cocaine bear and, like, all the, the horrible chains of events that happen. That's just, like, it was such a fun, messed up ride. I loved it so much. But, like, I guess we can't spoil too much, like, what happens to who. Other than um, the one guy, David, like, he's really into, like, his clothes. And he messes up his Jordans and then his, like, favorite jersey. jersey. He gets stabbed by one of the hooligan kids in this bathroom fight. And he's like, oh, I love this jersey. And I was like, oh, you, you got stabbed, though, my dude. Maybe more pressing things. But, like, I get it. Jerseys are expensive. Um, I guess we'll leave the, the synopsis off there. Oh, what did you like about this movie? It's, this was the most ridiculous shit I've ever watched in my life. Well, like, it. it was surprisingly graphic it was intensely graphic i did not expect it to be as gr i expected a lot of something's about to happen camera off come back on for aftermath 
Camera never leaves, though. No. It's you see a lot of crazy when she accidentally shoots the kid. Oh, my God. How did There's we... so much stuff in here that you do not expect to happen. Yeah. It is so ridiculous. Like, it's like they were writing this movie and be like, what's the last thing you expect to happen in the scene? That's what we're going to do. And it was just like, I'm like, it was just. It was crazy. What did we describe it as? Like, as the, like, horrific things are happening, it's like, oh, my God, I can't believe that's happening. Why are we still looking at it? Oh, my God, we're still looking at it. Now it's getting even worse. And then the scene's over and you're like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, I love it, but, like, not expecting. The um, whole part where the ambulance shows up. Yeah, that's like a whole oh. just series of unfortunate events. Like, it just gets worse and worse. It is so... It's just... And, and I love that. The whole unexpectedness of this movie is... Like, you knew this movie was going to be crazy, but it's crazier than you think. Yeah. But it's definitely... Like, if you have Hulu, you need to watch this movie. And this is... Uh, this was directed by Elizabeth Banks. I think it was written by her as well? Question mark? I'm not sure. I love her. I've loved her in, like, every role she's done. She's great. I, um... I knew this was going to be kind of a goofy even in, movie. Even in Hunger Games? Yeah, she was good in Hunger Games. Hunger Games was terrible, but, like, she was good. She looked great. Um, I knew this was supposed to be funny, but I didn't expect it to be as funny as it was. Like, it was, like, as gory as it was funny. Like, it was, like, the perfect mixture. I feel like this probably stands up there with, like, Tucker and Dale versus Evil or, like, Shaun of the Dead That's, for funny. It's definitely one of those kind of movies. Yeah. Like, it's a horror movie, Tucker for and sure. Dale. Tucker and Dale, for sure. This is very similar to that, because, like, you got a lot of the, like, the wood the wood chipper in, tu in Tucker and Dale. Yeah. Like, you got a lot of that kind of vibe with a lot of the kills. The 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 other thing I really liked is the two child actors were really good. Yeah. Like, we didn't get they to were, see a lot of one of them, but, like, the other one was, like, he hilarious. Was, he was so funny. Just on point. Oh, he, my he was God. Great. Yeah, his humor was per was perfect for this movie. And he was reacting exactly... Like how a kid like would Like how react. you would expect yeah. them to react. There was one part where the park ranger, like, the, the little guy's up in the tree, and she's like... Little girl, get down here. And he's so freaked out. He doesn't even correct her. He's like, whatever. I don't want to die. I want to come down. Like, I'm staying up here. There's a crazy bear. Like, not doing it. Um, he's like, the bear's on cocaine. Yeah. There's something wrong with it. That bear is fucked. And they're like, language. When he when he talks about how they have to go to rehab. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, it's, 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 it's so good. And, like, the actress, the mom is... What the hell is her name? Carrie Russell. Carrie Russell. And it's such a, like, she's she's great. I was surprised by how good she was She in was this. great. But, uh... I can't name another movie she's in. All I know is, like, Felicity, and I didn't watch that. And The Americans. I didn't... I didn't watch that. I, you weren't allowed to watch that, because it was gonna, you know, boot you. Reboot... Re it was gonna Be reboot you. <laughs> Be boop. It was gonna reboot you and turn you into a spy. Um, all right, so what do you, uh, what did you not like about the movie? Oh, man. I don't know. Like, I feel like sometimes the CGI looked a little wonky, but also, like, we couldn't be doing this with, uh, real animals. Yeah, we're not, we're, so, we're not giving a real bear cocaine. No, not again. Never again. Yeah. Um, I, d I don't, maybe, like, for some of the close-up shots, they could have done, like, a practical effect, but I really don't feel like... It took me that much out of it because, like, I know what I'm in for. I know it's going mm -hmm. to be incredibly over the top, you know, um, a bonus like the soundtrack. Amazing. Yes. Lots of bops in there. Love that. Um, <clears throat> this was I think it was Ray Liotta's last film. It was because they did a in memory. Of, yeah. What a way to go out, though. He <sighs> Ray Liotta was amazing. A fantastic actor wonderful wonderful actor r.i.p rest um, easy there's nothing i didn't like about this movie it was just so fucking I thought, good i thought this was obvious this was the per this was the per the perfect movie i knew nothing about the story beforehand mm -hmm. and it made me want to go actually like look up look up this story on the internet and read about it and watch the news and the news clips they have from it and stuff like that. So it was fantastic. What would you rate this? 
Oh, geez. Yeah, I'm gonna ask the hard I'd probably questions. give this like a 4.5 out of 5. Like, it was really good. It was really solid. Everyone's acting performance was great. The gore, top notch. Loved it. Perfect. Disgusting. Um, made me squiggle a little bit while I was sitting there because I'm just like, oh, God, like, no. Why are we still looking at this? The gurney. The, oh, the gurney. Oh, no. Um, uh, I would give this, I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5. I thought this is probably one of the this is one of the top 10 movies I've ever watched in my life. I loved this movie from beginning to end. I, there was no boring part in it. No, It no. was funny or gory every moment of this movie. It kept you pulled in. It kept you watching. I don't think I picked up my phone the entire time, which is big for me because <clears> I usually just look at down at my phone mm-hmm. while, I'm, while I'm watching a movie because there's usually lulls in it. There is no lull in this. Like, it goes from... Drugs out the plane, drugs in the bear, kids in the woods, crazy shit going kids on. Kids in the bear, yeah, maybe. Yeah. So <laughs> it was see. uh like, and there's and there's so many good parts to this. It's so funny. It's Ice Cube's son is the one who plays uh, David. Plays plays David. You have Ray Liotta, Carrie Russell. You have um I cannot remember his name, but the guy from uh. Oh, I can't. And I just blanked on the show. Too. All right. Just, the show with Ed O'Neill, where he's married to the Hispanic woman. and Modern yeah, Family. Thank you. Modern Family. The the one, the conserv- conservatory guy is uh, the one, is the son from uh, Modern, from Modern Family. So it was, there was a lot of like, but he's so unrecognizable. He's, remember how ridiculous he's dressed. Like everything in this is so funny. There's can't, there's campy parts. There's gory parts. There's like really funny stuff. Like there's really something like, there's really something great about this movie. And it's just like, I can't believe that Elizabeth Dance is the one who brought us this. Yo, like w- amazing. <laughs> like out of, out of the, nowhere. Like yeah. who knew? Like, like what did she find this story in the internet at like three o'clock in the morning? And she's like, yep, cocaine bear. <laughs> yeah, why not? So, um, yeah, I definitely, I love this movie. This is going to definitely be, we've watched it twice now. Yeah. And it probably won't be the last we have Hulu. I'll probably watch it again, fall and asleep one night, because I absolutely love this movie. And, like, good on Hulu for not only releasing it first on streaming, but also having that accompanying documentary with it. Which so was you're very like interesting. Already super pumped from watching Cocaine Bear, and then you're like, oh my god, there's like the whole backstory about it, and, like, and it has me, like you know. Let me look at the story behind the yeah. movie. Yeah, which is you know that's what you want when you hear something based off true events. It's not like mm-hmm. loosely. I mean, like it's a little loosely based off true events, but not as loosely yeah. as like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> yeah, like that's extremely loosely based off something that happened. But like, wow, this movie's great. Big fans. All right. Loved it. Tell more to find you. You can find me on Facebook at Ray Animator Reviews, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at Ray Animator. If you did like this review, you could hit the like button to follow, or you could follow if you also like songs from the 80s. Um, or don't if you like cocaine. <laughs> or if you like cocaine, we won't tell anyone. We don't judge. Just be responsible and, like, you know, watch your septum, I guess. Um, you can... Uh, <laughs> Sorry. You lost your train of thought yeah. there. Um, you, if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, join us by subscribing. I did that wrong. But... She said subscribing twice. We'd love to have you. You can also yes. find our reviews in podcast form on the Farsighted Network on iTunes and anywhere you can get podcasts. Please don't forget to check out all of those awesome creators and their content as well. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch at Repeat Viking, also on TikTok and Twitter at repeat viking and um i guess uh i guess that's that's it what do you say how do you how do you how do you end a bear how how do you end a bear how do you end a bear watch midsommar how do you end a movie about a bear doing cocaine white lines white lines that's perfect i mean and also like the trailers for this are still really really good (laughs) after watching the movie like oh bonus like cocaine bear cubs oh my god cocaine bear cubs. the cocaine bear cubs they were, were adorable ador- adorable and so, also terrifying yes but we'll uh see you guys next time bye oh hi hello hello there can we do that over i don't know what happened <laughs> she forget how to talk <laughs> oh you're so cute all these
delicious beans. White lines. Do, 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 do. Blowing through my mind. And all the while I think of you. Bye. Bye.